Are you struggling with fear? Fear, worry, and anxiety are some of the most common emotions that humans experience. In fact, I think all of us have struggled with it at some point or another. And I have lots of videos on fear and I've listed some of them below this video. But there are three causes of fear. There are physical causes like anxiety disorder, which is one of the mood disorders. And that, for that treatment, you need a medical doctor. I have lots of information on the treatment of mood disorders on my website. Just click on the Q&A forum button on my site. But there are personality or emotional causes of fear. If you were raised in a fearful home, you would have been taught to be fearful. And there are spiritual causes of fear. And that's when Satan wants to drop fear bombs into your mind just to mess with your head. So this week, I want to talk about spiritual causes of fear. Now, most fearful thoughts start with these two words, what if? Because that's designed to catch your attention and add, what if something terrible happens? And you, your response is, I never thought of that. I guess I should start worrying. And God showed me that whenever I get a disturbing thought that starts with what if, suspect a demonic origin, that there's an there's a evil force that's dropping those thoughts into my mind just to get me anxious. Now the Bible says that when we resist Satan, he will flee from us. So how can we resist Satan so he will flee and it will stop the spiritual attack of fear in our minds? Well, there are many good strategies and I've talked about several of them in my previous videos, but I want to teach you another one today that you could just add and try it out and see if it, how much it helps you. And the key to this is remembering that when you get what if thoughts, they're like invaders in your mind that are being shot at you by a dark entity. And so we want to deal with that. So I want you to close your eyes now and I want, to, want you to look through the eyes of your spirit or the eyes of your imagination or the eyes of your heart and I want you to look around the room where you are right now and see where Jesus is because he's right there with you. And then once you've pictured Jesus, I want you to look right at him and ask him to show you a picture of the, your attacker so that you can see a representation of the demonic force that's dropping these fearful thoughts into your mind. And then when you have a, a sense of what this looks like, I want you to repeat after me this, these statements to that entity, directly to it. I know what you're trying to do to me. You have no right or authority to do that. I refuse to agree or listen to your words and I send you to the foot of the cross. Now watch what Jesus does to your attacker. Isn't that amazing? And you can do that every time you get a fearful thought. You can speak right to it and shut it up and allow Jesus to just move it out. But some fearful thoughts come because they run in families, they're generational. And for that kind of f problem of fear attack, you need generational healing prayers. And if you, if you suspect that's in your family, you can meet with me and I'd be happy to walk you through that. And if you need help with the mood disorder, anxiety disorder, causes of fear, or the personality, I'd be happy to help you. Just let me know. But to live a transformed life, you need to learn how to conquer fear with Jesus' help. Now I want to hear from you. If you did that prayer sequence with me, I want you to write in the box below what happened when you sent it to the foot of the cross. We want to share your experience to see what happened when you commanded that force to go to the foot of the cross. So, if, you, if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form. And you know where that is. It's right there. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, actually deal with those thought invaders.